proportions with angle bisectors. Example A, find x. So we need to find this segment down here, the length thereof. And we know that because this angle here, we're going to call this angle A, because angle A was bisected, we know that by the fact that the angles on either side of this ray here are marked with two hashes each. Since that angle was bisected, that tells us that the opposite sides have been split into proportional lengths. Yeah? So let's take our little orange. Uh, now we'll go to orange. That's fine. So that tells us here that 21 compared to 9 is going to be the same as x compared to 14. So let's write that out. We have 9 over 21, small side, big side, compares to x over 14, small side, big side. Yeah. Now 9 over 21, does that reduce? Looks like it reduces by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So we got 3 sevenths compares to x over 14. Well, that's nifty, because I know that 7 times 2 is 14. x must be 3 times 2, which would be 6. That saves me some math. So x equals 6. Just like that. All right, let's move on. Example B. Example B says, find the value of x that would make the proportion true. Very similar to the last one, um, only this time it's the long side that's missing, and we have a little bit of calculation to do since we have an actual expression here instead of just a single variable, but it's a very similar problem. So let's set up our ratio. We know that 3 compares to 15 in the way that 5 compares to 4x plus 1. So let's do any reducing we can. 3 into 15, those both divide by 3, so that gives us 1 into 5, compares to 5 into 4x plus 1. Now we can cross multiply and we just get 4x plus 1 on the one side. That's kind of nice. And that's equal to 5 times 5, which is 25. Subtract 1 from both sides. 25 minus 1 is 24. So then we'll take this and we'll kind of move up over here. And we'll have 4x is equal to 24. Divide both sides by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. x equals 6. So if x is 6, then this is 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25. This side here is 25 units long and x needs to be 6 for it to work. Cool. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Example C, find the missing variable. Uh, again, another very similar question. So we have 12 compares to 4 in the way that x compares to 3. So we'll do 4 twelfths equal to 3 xths. <laughs> 4 twelfths reduces uh, one third equals three x. So then we can cross multiply. Three times three is nine. X times one is x. X equals nine. There we go. All done.